It is Tuesday the 25th. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining me for our New Zealand forecast for the next several days as a lot more high pressure is on the way. Now on the big picture you can see quite a lot of activity up in the tropics. Two tropical cyclones, Cyclone Ray clearing Fiji and hopefully avoiding Tonga by the looks of it. Tropical Cyclone Alfred out here around the Coral Sea, that's mostly out at sea for now. And there's another low pressure zone right next to Vanuatu which might become a tropical cyclone over the next day or two, does look short lived. But the main feature on this map is high pressure, without a doubt. The bright white and yellow shading, that means higher air pressure. So despite these three tropical lows, three tropical storms if you like, the actual size of uh, the area they cover is not that great. The main feature on this map is high pressure and that is why New Zealand at the moment is so dry. So this is the only big picture map I'm going to show you because I want to actually get into the detail of what is happening around New Zealand. These are actually a distraction to what is going on back home here in New Zealand. So we've got a few showers on Wednesday, maybe a couple of heavy isolated showers as that moves northwards into the afternoon. You can see a line of sort of trapped rain or showers underneath the high pressure zone there. That'll bring a couple of areas of rain relief to those who need it, but for the most part, it's another dry day around the country. Here on Thursday, this is a better map because it really shows you what is happening here locally. Not much. High pressure is in charge. Off to the northeast, Tropical Cyclone Ray or the remnants of it, so far away it's not likely to affect our weather, probably won't even drive in any swells for the northeast coast. But if you're a surfer, check it out, just have a look. Uh, might get a little bit closer than it's showing for now. But otherwise, Thursday's a very quiet day around the country. We do see a few showers. There's a very slight southeasterly or an easterly flow moving up the country. So uh, that will bring in a bit of cloud and a few showers. Mostly dry though around New Zealand on Thursday. No great change on Friday except a risk of afternoon downpours, maybe some thunderstorms around the North Island. This will probably drift slowly westwards across the day as it forms. So you'll have to track it on the rain radar to make more sense of it. But basically the areas in the, in the darker blue have the better chance of seeing a heavier fall. And that is the, really, the only way to break this very dry forecast we've got at the moment. The best way to break a dry forecast is to get an isolated thunderstorm or one of those afternoon uh, heat showers. South Island looks dry on Friday, northwesterly winds coming down, but locally you might have easterlies. The, the winds are variable at this time of the year when you've got high pressure moving through and the daytime heating. Saturday afternoon, a bit later into the day as well, like Friday, seeing that risk once more of afternoon downpours, but once more that pale blue zone means there's really the risk of one. You might not get one. The darker blue blob over there, sort of in northern Hawke's Bay, uh, just south of Gisborne, that's perhaps another better chance of getting some rain. But really, this is a very dry map. Some rain returns to Fiordland, a few showers around Stewart Island, otherwise dry there. And by Sunday, that next system trying to move up the west coast, just a few showers dry right across the country. High pressure is definitely in charge. So you see what I mean? When you zoom out and don't show those tropical cyclones, this paints the picture of what is going on here in New Zealand and why it is so dry. Next week, there's a bit of a break in the highs. Got high pressure out to the east of the country. The next one is just east of Tasmania moving towards us. So we see a southerly on Monday. That drives in a bit of wet weather. Now that might arrive on Sunday evening and then moves up the South Island on Monday. A bit of a temperature drop behind it and we might see some isolated heavy falls, especially going on into the afternoon when you get the daytime heating mixing with that cooler air, uh, but the North Island shower risks look very isolated and much lighter on Monday. And uh, the big picture map here on Tuesday, you know, these tropical lows are all still up there. The high pressure belt, this is really big high pressure, it stretches right up all the way down towards Antarctica, all the way up towards the, uh, into the subtropics and close to the tropics. So that big high pressure belt is kind of stopping these lows from dropping southwards and there's another big high coming in behind it all. So the seven day departure from normal shows uh, Tropical Cyclone Alfred out here on the Coral Sea heading towards the Tasman. That's that line of heavy rain. Now it stops because it runs into that high pressure zone in the Tasman. Might end up in Queensland, might just fall apart out at sea. The other low coming out from Vanuatu, you can see that one there. So not penetrating that big belt of high pressure. We do see some rain coming into Fiordland, a few showers around uh, the South Island. So that's sort of maybe for some of you a more normal amount of rainfall for this time of the year. But the North Island looks very dry other than the risk of a few showers here and there. Much of the North Island does look dry. So our final map here is an animation 
of the next seven days rainfall. And I want to show you the big picture because I want to, it will, sh it will show you how dry it is in the New Zealand area, but it also shows you these tropical lows. So let's animate it, it's quite quick. We'll put it on to repeat, but you can see these cyclones here. These are the cyclone tracks where it's the purple and the uh, darker blues. That's where you see that very heavy rain sort of sitting up to the north of us. Oh, sorry, I thought it repeated, it doesn't. Anyway, yeah, there you go. You can see that blob of heavy rain up in the tropics, but around the New Zealand area, the blue you see there is next to the green. And whenever you see the green next to the blue, it's the bottom of the scale. So that is a large portion, big part of here of Australia getting no rain at all. So this is the high pressure belt protecting us if that's the right word, uh, from these tropical lows coming southwards and limiting the Southern Ocean rainmakers from coming up. Some of them do come into the southern southwestern corner of the South Island, but for the most part, we have got a very dry week ahead. And like I say, it's one of those isolated afternoon downpours or thunderstorms. That's the only thing that's likely to break uh, the forecast here. That's all from me for today. Don't forget we've got a cyclone special out as well as we track what is going on around the tropics and around Australia. That's all from me though. Otherwise, I will see you again tomorrow, Wednesday, with our next New Zealand update.